But now things are going to be commenced. It's going to be going live here for anybody just tuning in. Secret Club versus RBG with your host, of course, Laz and Cup of Frag for ESCA Premier. Getting things started already. Map number one. And I'm I'm really excited, Kappa. I'm proper hyped as well, man. Get the energy going. Get the vibes going. The hype in chat as well. Thanks for joining us, guys, for the ESCA Premier Season 36. And this matchup here today, Secret Club taking on RBG Esports in this best of three. Map number one here is overpass Inferno on the menu for that second course. But who is going to take the first course? And already we can already see Classy are going to be very close. Going to be holding that middle, but RBG not really going to be putting a lot on it. They're going to just be slugging their way through. They're not even going to go that big. But look at this. This is oh, huge. No. Casio with three just runs on through them. Perfect timing. The element of surprise completely catches them off guard. And now it's all just completely fallen into the dumpster, just leaving it to both two players remaining for RBG. Walco and Chop, they have a big order and a big order indeed. Classia down to one down to just a mere a mere number and as it will be two glocks not going to cut the mustard is it really just the one chop 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 what you got for is it only one plate is going to be lit at the uh classier speaking of it one hp and the rest of them really looking unbeatable at this point if chop was to land this one that would uh, definitely be something special, something for the highlight reel. Not looking too good, Tim. It's sketchy in the bathrooms. Blood has been spilled. What's to be said here for Chop? One frag. Can we get two? We're not going to get two. Over and done. What a clean round there from Secret Club. Super crisp. Yeah, that was a big play. I mean, we were talking about, you know, teamwork and individual performance. But, I mean, Classia single-handedly just picking up the triple. And three players from RBG were grouped up. They were getting ready for the long A just creep on through, just getting some map control. They were doing a very slow play, but it just completely collapses. And now that's going to be already in favor for Secret Club, starting things off very well, showing why they're a 3-0 team. Yeah, you could definitely see that's that's not a mistake, is it? That's not an accident that they've won three maps or three uh, best of three so far in the season. Glocks only for RBG. Opting in for no. No eco at all. No false pistols. Nothing. Nada. No plant as well, remembering from that first round. Scout action. Wolfie, one of the Wolfies, to take out RBG's first player. And it's a 5 and 4 immediately, lads. Immediately. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing to be said for this one. And right now, I mean, RBG, they're just trying. I mean, it is a bit of a meat grind around. They only have the Glock. So really, at this point, they are just trying to find anything possible. Maybe take a weapon or two down. That's going to be the biggest thing. But so far... Just has not been able to work. I mean, even Wolfie going to hold things back. Getting one. Looking for a little bit more. Just two players remaining. Just making it that. And that will be that. Secret club. Keep things very secret so far. Two to zero. Now the money is on the board here for RBG. They have plenty of opportunity now. They could try to go for the force glass cannon op if they want. But do they want to risk it at this point? But no. They're just going to keep the rifles in their hands. Keep that utility, which will be very, very useful. And that is going to be the, the smarter play, really, at this point. Such a risk to go for that glass cannon. If you're not 100% confident you're going to be hitting that headshot or hitting that high body shot for the first one, don't do it. Save it until you are sure. Four AKs and a Galil for RBG. What's going to be the deal here? Working through Con, doing what they can. Chop. Trying to lock down that crossfire angle. And Hex, I said the highest fragger, highest ADR. Try to get nosy here at TopCon. Hex is one of those players. I mean, we were talking about Hex doing a lot of big statistic statistic damage here for RBG. Needs to find that opening. Needs to find somebody. But no CTs are going to be near on by. But instead, Secret Club going to be having a different setup. Instead, they're going to be playing more of the anchor. Just having Wolfie actually going to be top of heaven. So just leaving Frosty by himself. Going to be holding things down. Seeing what they can find. And RBG taking this very slow... They're not putting any sort of gas into this round yet. They have been able to get inside of the canal, but they're going to have to push on through. Smoke's now going to be blocking off the long B. Secret Cub, they're completely reading this completely right. They are. They've, they've got the perfect retail. It's not a secret. Their intel, their smarts, their OP. Off the charts, 500 IQ, as it would seem so far. RBG is their aim. Going to be a point to get this done. No, the double peak is not going to work. The Fabers and the MP9 start things off. AK chiming in for two, but it's three versus two. 
And yeah, Wiz able to pick up two now. So we got ourselves back into an even playing field. Two on two situation. Both players from RBG going to be, be able to get into the site now. Wolfie going to be creeping on Bry. Frost just going to be able to help him out now. But that's going to be Hex. That's going to be able to find those last two in RBG. They do reply back with Vengeance. The man, the myth, the legend. Highest amount of frags and the highest ADR being boosted even further. Hex taking that one into his own hands with, I believe, that 2k and keeping RBG with uh, some sort of economic flow to keep things going forward. Talking of that, though, the economic flow for Secret Club, they've got the buy-in, two uh, dodgy weapons, if you will, not the default buys for the M4, you've got the MP9, you've got the FAMAS, but still, they're going to get themselves into this round, even a Mac 10 for RBG. And even now, like we said, the weapons are going to be on the board here for Secret Club. So they were just trying to preserve what they had from the previous two. RBG able to scrape that round through. Only one away from tying things up. Another slow round commenced from RBG. Just going to be creeping through the map. Just trying to get as much map control as possible. But on that slow edge on the front. Both Frost and Wolfie now going to be holding inside a bathroom together. Not sure I would... Uh... Want to have a buddy in the washroom, but you know what? That's what we're going to have here from Secret Club. I mean, they're just going to hang out. Got you, bro. Secret, don't tell anyone, especially don't tell RBG. I wonder though, Chop, has he heard the rumor? Has he heard the secrets? It's not a secret anymore. The secret's out. Chop, chopping a head off of his enemy in bathroom. He puts it too. It's going to be the five versus three. So they've got that advantage in bathroom. They've got all the map control. Yeah, those are some big pickups. I mean, the fact that they were able to make that two one-on-one -on -one duels chop, able to find it. Vic gets a little bit of a reply back, just finding the one player that's lurking, Wolfie. Just getting that information as much as possible right now. Classy able to reply back now so that you can see the pushes coming in. The bomb, it's not even nearby, but Classio oh. just doing Classio things, and he's able to find two, but no, not able to find the other one. So now, a two-on-two -two situation. CTs have now made it back into the site. Close on by. They have one flash that's available for Vic that they can use, but no, it's going to be Jitter. We're going to have to see, can he Jitter through the smoke? Can he find the opportunity? He needs to be very careful. He's able to find the one. Now just leaving it down to Hex. He's on the gardens, picking the flowers. Now going to get out of that. Going to be able to get the spray, and now we get a two and two. Two for two, and that's two frags uh, in the two versus one he's been up against in the past two rounds. And really sticking to the stats. The stats speak volumes. You look at the numbers on paper. They're transferring straight across into the action today for season 36 of ESA Premier. Hopefully you're having a good one so far. I know uh, if you look at the side of RPG, um, they must be really happy with their performance so far. Lads. Uh, putting two rounds early in this half for the T side of Overpass. That's an achievement in itself, especially against Secret Club. Yeah, things are already looking pretty good for RBG. I mean, the, the round's been very close. They come right down to those 2v2 situations, but they've been able to make it do. And now RBG just even being able to run on through this. This should be the pickup. I mean, Secret Club, like we said, they only have the USPs in hand. And at this point, Secret Club, they do find one frag. Frost gets the fadeaway shot, but it's all just down to him. They know exactly where he is. So RBG should be able to get this bomb down, get the money bonus, and now go for the hunt. The hunt is on. That one man with his USP. GG, no re's out. Taken out of this actually will be Frosty. Four players survive for RBG. And just a little reminder, going back to those stats, this is a secret club pick overpass, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this was the pick from RBG. So RBG's map pick and then secret club went for Inferno for the second. So when I saw a few people asking, it is a best of three, of course. So we'll see if we can go with a distance, or can it be a 2-0? That specialist rifle over on Secret Club side. One A1S available. But through the fire of the flames, he's going to be Walko taking that one into his own hands. Not going to be the best choice in this scenario, though. Four players survive. There's a up coming through in sandbags. And Frost just waiting, poised for that monster peak. It's 3-3. And for RPG... I'm not too sure things uh, fell apart there, running straight through full white and blind flash. Uh, it's, it's not going to do. Yeah, they went for the gamble. They tried to go for a little bit of an aggressive B push instead, so they tried to mix things up, and that's kind of what we were talking about before. RBG, they like to change the pace. They play a little bit slow at first, get a feel for the game, and then all of a sudden you just see them do a lot of different tricks. But now Secret Club, they're able to read that quite easily, leaving just the two. Classy and his teammate going to be close on by. RBG just in middle, but Classy are going to be caught on guard completely. Oh, and now Wolfie, 
or Wolfie, sorry. He's going to be able to spam through, but not able to get the frag. He's able to escape just barely. And now he repositions himself. RBG have the slightest advantage, but the HP for two players, it's definitely critical. I was going to say, that, that HP is absolute garbage for those two. Potentially Secret Club, they can get that first trade in. They could be in for the win here for round number seven. And again, map number one is where we are right now. So this map does not determine who's to take this best of three. Still, that potential in map number two for whoever takes the L here. Frosty, a lot can take it L. He's getting all this info. He's going to get a frag as well. That, that could potentially change the round. Yeah, this frag completely changes things around. And now the bomb actually is going to be picked up. It does get retrieved. So RBG, they do respawn back. They get a little bit of control of this chaos. Frosty was able to find that frag and definitely thought that could have changed things around completely. But we are back in an even playing field. Four and four. And it is going to be Frost that actually does fall. Wolko able to find him. Going to be able to pick up some utility as well. And this is the difficult position for Secret Club. I mean, they're on a, three players remaining. And, and with a map like this, they have to kind of gamble. But no, oh, there's no gamble no. because Wolfie, he's just going to devour these two players and run right through. And now it's just down to Wolfie from the Secret Club. So, Wolfie, definitely the head of the pack for Secret Club, but the other Wolfie, is, is Wolfie going to be able to get it done? Not in this case. The op peak, the YP coming through from Wiz, the Wiz kid with the op, calculating the risk, getting that headshot in the bag, and it is 4-3 RPG. Just looking at it and just thinking as well, the money, it's uh, it's looking pretty bleak. A bankruptcy close for Secret Club. They're up to him for that that full save. Oh, maybe a nade stack on the cards here. Three nades. Why not go for the gamble? Try something a little bit different. And that's what we'll see from the Secret Club. All players going to be completely stacked in this B site. So they are just going to hold things off. And this is this is a good plan. I mean, this is not the wrong play. I mean, if you are on a save, you might as well try to go for a full stack. I mean, of course, there is the gamble that you uh, stack the wrong site. But I mean, right now, they got nothing to lose. And RBG, you can see they're playing very slow. They're just getting information. A little bit hesitant to do anything right now. love to see those really out the box sort of plays in that nade stack you don't see enough nade stacks these days you just see the de deagle fall see the deco but you don't see enough of the nade stack is it going to come into play here very good question chop bit the commander the connector nothing to be seen for him getting that util down secret club just still just trailing around the, the map and uh, see if they can catch anyone off guard but from what i can see in this one rpg they're not giving anything away, not even a frag. You can even see a little bit of hesitation. Misses the flash, actually going to be blinding himself, but they had the stack at B, but instead they actually lean on towards A. They were definitely expecting RBG potentially to change up their plan. And right now, the bomb is going to be in the hands of Wiz, so they still are just out of sight of connector, have the smokes that are going to be used, so the execute comes on through so now this is actually not a bad read from secret club they might be able to find the nade stack they might be able to get the bomb planter down and time is completely ticking so if they can find the right time this could be really good and the nades are coming in but they don't actually land enough it does some critical damage but it's just a bit too late with the operator the opera taking a little bit of damage but yeah that's not really enough for that retake of potential four versus five to make that a five versus three and they've got no util no armor. It's it's just going to be the USP versus the wall now. I mean, RBG, they do know these players are here, so they can easily exit inside a washroom. But what they're trying to do is just keep them around the site as long as possible so that they can just get those weapons down from the bomb explosion. And now they're going to start to fall back a little bit. They don't, they don't fall... But they definitely go into the red. And now RBG have been able to get a two-round lead. The money on the board. It's not the greatest money situation for one of the players, but will not matter because there is going to be an op in the hands of Wolfie. We're going to start seeing that last bonus soon enough if Secret Club are going to be on the receiving end of what appears to be a very, very T-sided start for an overpass for RBG. But this round in particular, if Secret Club were able to turn this into a dub, this really would dictate a better half and uh, a more of an even half for them. Up aside though, RPG, they can continue running away with this. This could be really, really problematic for CT side of the Secret Club. And so far, so good. Look at all this, this map control. They're just getting all the angles.
right now, Wolfie, the only player that's really close on by for us, going to be in the other side of the washroom. So there is no trade opportunity from these two players. Wolfie holding a very tight angle inside a washroom, but now going to be falling back. Classia close on by, might be able to spot these players. He does. He finds the location to chop. I don't believe he was able to see the other player now, but you can see RBG very grouped up, ready to hit this site. And now the nades are going to come on through. Smoke's going to be blocking off CT. The execute's coming in, and that's going to be Jitter able to find some frags. And Jitter just coming up big with two, looking for a little bit more. And our RBG, they're completely stuck in the mud. They have no plan whatsoever. And Jitter still being a massive nuisance because RBG, they just can't get these trades at all. And all of a sudden now, it's just down to a two-on-four situation. 30 seconds remaining. They need to find some frags, and that's going to be a good start here from Wiz. But no, that's going to be that. Chop on his lonesome. The one-on-three situation by himself gets spotted out by Frost. He's spraying away, but it won't matter. And Secret Club respond back in some unique fashion. That is what I call a flick from Wiz. Let's just take it. Rewind it back a sec. What a flick. And if we could see some more up shots like that all game long, yes, please. And thank you, sign my mouse pad, Wiz. Five fours to score. Secret Club are able to clamber themselves back into the lead there, courtesy, or back into the lead, back onto the scoreboard, courtesy of Jitter, stepping up, and fun fact about Jitter, one of the only players on the entirety of Secret Club with an ace right now. Two players on each team with an ace shows that potential, and we are seeing that stack as well. Maybe, just maybe if they can get that stack, and, uh, oh, looks like they're, they're going for it, save that one for another round. Yeah, we saw them do that before. So when they played High Coast a few weeks ago, they tried this, and even High Coast did the exact same thing. But with them trying that, now Wolfie, he's been able to get a lot of real estate. He's pushed up. Look at how much he's got. So he should be able to pick up this frag, and now he's allowed to just reposition himself. He can fall back. The smokes are coming in. He's just doing the right-click clashes. He should be able to get out of this situation just barely. The scope was on him. But Wolfie... He gets out of that wolf pack of RBG, able to get a second life, another opportunity at this. Slipping out of there, literally, has any chitty chin chin. Bathroom unlock potential as well. And that, you're right, that is the risk of doing that, that stack of doing that tower. You can give away so much time, and time is money when it comes to CSGO. 5 4 and 4 3 for the numbers in the server right now. We still does the off, the off in his hand. We see him do some phenomenal stuff last round, but can he convert it back to that 3 versus 3? Frost able to find that frag, so Chop is just trying to creep on through, trying to get a little bit of intel, but now two players only remaining. Walco. Going to be able to push on through, finds the head of one, finds the head of Ooh. two, the headhunter himself, Walco. Just running on through, he doesn't care, he's just going to be able to find these frags. Nades now going to be thrown, that's actually going to land. It took down Vic all the way to 11 HP. That's a perfect nade, he's in the red right now, Kappa. You, you can't talk anything more critical than that nade, it goes from a 2 on 2 back to like 2 versus point one. Talking of that, though, it is 2-1 versus 1. Jitter, great performance last round. Can he do it again here? Walco on fire this one, and he's going to get it done with the 3K. Headhunter, you said, and headshot to finish it off. 6-4. Woohoo! Talk about spicy. Spicy round, and Walco coming up with a triple. All headshots, now putting himself at nine frags right behind Wiz. Will be the light pis pistol round here from Secret Club. Going to just go for the Deagles and the CZs. Molly's going to land, which should land perfectly right on top of Catwalk. They're going to go for the stack once more. They're going to try this go. again. And Wiz, he's got it. He's got it. Oh! They land it. They finally get it. RBG, they've been practicing and it definitely shows. So, last round didn't work. Go back to the drawing board. Still got the round with the 3k. And they're getting it with that quad boost. That is sick. And that's such a demoralizer for Secret Club. Yeah, they're on an eco, they're on a pistol save. But it doesn't matter. That shows the synergy for RBG. And that could be the fundamental difference between the two teams right now. Talking of this, though, Classy, uh, he's got some intel. He must have heard those footsteps above him at ladder, surely. And RBG need to be careful. They might not be expecting this aggression. This is a lot of control that Classy has been able to get. The timing could be good. And if he times this well, he might be able to find the backstab against Wiz. But no, Walco, he's just going to be creeping on by through Connector. And now they're just pushing on through every section of the map. They're going to be pushing on to B now. Two players close on by. Trop, he's going to get taken down by Wolfie. These last two remaining players, the CT side, they are at this B site. So RBG could backpedal if they want. But instead, they're going to commit to this. Hex going to be close on by. 
finds the one. Can he find the second? And it's all just down to De Vic with the Deagle. Vic the Deagle, the CZ has perished. A Deagle alone. Four crispy Deagle headshots is what he needs to get this one done. Wolfie says, nah, mate, you're on the bench for this one. Seven, four, it will be. And let's just break down the difference between the two teams right now and kind of what is leading to RBG taking the lead that they have. And it's quite a convincing one. Statistically on paper, you would have seen Secret Club being in the lead off the get-go. Um, for RBG, it, it's all going to come down to the, the kind of trades they're making, lads. The trades they're making are absolutely pitch-perfect. Secret Club seem to be getting caught out of position here. And I I don't know if that's down to the odd plays here from RBG. What they're doing? They've got to keep it up, but talking about Wolfie, he says enough's enough. That's a big pickup. I mean, the fact that he's able to run through that, he wasn't even flashed from his team or his uh, enemies from RBG. They timed it a bit too late. So he's able to run on through no fear whatsoever. No fear factor for this guy. He's able to find that first frag. And that's what I was kind of mentioning before on that CT side. When you play a little bit different, try to, you know, just push them back in some degree, and that works very well for them and now rbg they've lost wolfie they still have the hop the op in the hands of Wiz, and hex gonna be close on by i mean they have the control of washrooms but right now wolfie he's just locked he knows exactly where they are you're right though that that has stunted rbg's approach they've taken one player out of the realm secret club i've realized if we just take one player out and back off from that pick we can take it 50 seconds just tick tock it away here comes the execute but rbg look a bit shaky on this four versus five Molotov not actually going to land on frost but instead the smoke will distinguish it so he's going to get pushed back a little bit here wolfie he's able to get the no scope he lands this oh. shot and i thought he was going to go for this but now rbg close on by trying to make the opening trying to find something hex he's able to get the spray through but it's going to be the big flank of thick and now things are looking very problematic. Chop, he's going to have to do something absolutely big. But no, it will be Secret Club to pull another round back through. Two ahead here still for RBG. The money situation. They could go for the force. They can have enough for the AKs and the light utility. It's definitely there. It's definitely an option. It is an option. And for RBG, opting in for what they can at this point. Season, season Secret Club got that up in their hands they've got the ak well, so that's stuff power the ct side that can be a really big issue for a, for a terrorist on the approach here one member just with the deagle four rifles here for rbg and look the, the spicy boost potential again i see it happening once more hey it's worked once why not do it again let's just uh you know maybe they got their own secrets here in rbg is it going to be enough to get it done here on overpass? They've got seven rounds so far, which for what a paper looked like to be an underdog RPG, excellent start, but there's still a second half to come with this spray coming through. So much damage inflicted for that wall bank. Let's see her. And look at this positioning for Frost. He's able to find the one, almost able to find the two. Yes, he will, but no, not the third chop. He's able to finally get the trade back, but that's a big amount of work already done here from Frost. He finds those two frags. RBG, we were talking about it. They went for the force. They've tried to spend as much money as they could, and they've already lost two players. Chop going to be able to retrieve the M4 and, play, and replace for the Deagle. Smoke going to be thrown. Actually going to miss, so it doesn't land on top of Heaven. So now, they don't have the coverage they need. Do they know that, lads? That's a question. He thinks he's landed that smoke. They're going to execute, presume they have. Holding the toxic will be Jitter. Low on HP, but Jitter or not, he's got smoke cover. He's got every reason to take this. Jitter, he's going to be able to find him, but Vic helps him out. Trying to be a smoke criminal. But now we have ourselves a very close game. One round away from tying things up. Six to seven, round 14, we go. RBG going to now be on the save. Light eco to see what they can have. I mean, do they want to go for the full aggression? We haven't really seen a lot of full rushes. We saw it once in their gun round, but do they try it again? Do they try to do something a little bit unorthodox in their style so far? We need to see that spice. She talks about the happen arrow. He talks about sort of that ha jalapeno sort of play. We need to see something pop off here to make it different. RBG seems they might have exhausted their strat book at this point. The Secret Club seems to have spotted up to see what they put on the table. Frosty coming through. Had no idea. So he's been going for that con control. We're talking about that. A Glock's going to take out an op though. That could be a problem. The op's in RBG's hands. Yeah, that's a the positioning that we saw from them. They were able to just find it. And I mean, Frost, he was playing very aggressive down connector. So they're able to get into the site. Classia does find the head of him. So now 
The bomb's been planted. Wiz, he does have an AWP in his hands. He's going to be definitely in the driver's seat. He needs to find these openings. He just catches the shoulder of one of these players. Able to now retaliate, get his frag back. But it's all just down to him. There's not going to be a lot of hope because the bomb is going to get defused. But you know what? Wiz, he's done his job. They got the bomb down two frags and now retrieved an op to bring into this last round. That's a dub. That's definitely a dub when it comes to a save. What'd you save? An AK? No, I save an op. Get yourself in here. You're on the squad for the next round. Last round of the first half of this best of three. And this is map number one that we reside on right now. RPG, fiery start here. Secret Club have managed to even things out. And uh, I'm really curious. I had inkling of this guy in Secret Club's way on paper. But RPG, they're making this uh, rather spicy and unpredictable. Definitely trying to bring the fight to them. And look at this. Wiz and Wolfie close on by. Wolfie, he's actually going to have to fall back now. The flash. And that's kind of what I was mentioning before. RBG, they did it a little bit late the first time. But they did it late again. But it works out for them this time. Wolfie going to go right back into the position. that he's going to be in the washroom. Holding down long A and RBG back to what they know. The bread and butter. The slow. Slow round of getting some ground control. Sunday walk in the park. It will be for RBG. Just uh, checking out the scenery. Chop locking down that connector. I wonder if he could get a pick from connector though. That completely slice open the defense. Not going to be him. Give me the lights of Hex. Top ADR taking leading the charge. It's a four versus four. Now the rotates coming in. Classia going to be close on by with his teammate Wolfie. Just on the other side, he, spot, he spots the oh. pixel. He's, he spots the toque. He gets it. And now he knows one player is going to be close. But Hex casting that spell. And now just completely falling apart. Secret Club. Two remaining players. Jitter and Vic. They have some utility. They have a smoke two and three flashes. They're going to have to use this at the perfect time. They're going to have to find that small little bit of an opening. And RBG now. We can see they're actually going to go all the way around inside Washroom. Just leaving the one player. This is a good position. This flag is holding it from the back lines. Perfect play here in this three versus one. All down to Vic. The secret's out. And RPG, they're going to take the first half there. I'm, I don't want to say I'm speechless, but I'm really impressed from what RPG have put down so far for the secret club. I think they're a bit surprised at uh, the middle opponent that they're facing in RPG. Yeah, RBG are able to squeak that first half, 8-7. to seven. But while we wait, we are just going to take a very short break, just on a commercial break, while we get the players ready for the second half. It's hard, you know. I just wish someone on my team would have told me. Apparently, I'm really not that good with this thing. Also, I die way too often in apartments, seem to never have enough money on buy rounds, and flashed four teammates just yesterday. Wait, what? I didn't. You did, Sean. Oh. But I'm much better with the 5-7 than you are, Elias. And I got 34 entry kills last week. And I should actually be playing B-Site. I'm much more useful over there. What grade did you get this week? Uh, I got C. That's not too bad. Right? Let's go. Nope. Gotta go. If you want to know what you're good at, and, well, also, what you suck at, check out csgohub.com. Coming! Yes, my shot, my friend. Cheaters ruining your plays? I have eyes on the enemy. Bad servers stopping your shots? What you need is ESEA. Advanced anti-cheat to stop cheaters. And the best servers around, all with 128 tick rate. ESEA, the best way to play CSGO. All right, and we're back. We're still just waiting for the players to connect, or just to get ready and get everything flourish and, and now so i mean it is the second half let's talk a little bit about this first half here cup i mean rbg they start things off pretty well and then a little bit of back and forth but rbg they're able to uh able to bring things back by just one 
that was that was some sick sick plays we were seeing, the sick clutches. And we talked of individual performance in Premier, and that's really when you start to see that the players. And you talked of the word flourish, flourish indeed as they go into really the, the peak of their career as they start to go on that grind towards the pro league. Yeah, RPG coming through, great strats, great performance, and it came down to a lot of one versus twos, didn't it? We saw the two versus two scenario down to that one versus two, and simply RPG they're winning their clutches, and if they can do that. For the defensive side tier on the CT, it's going to be a walk in the park for them. But I wonder, a secret club going to be lurking the shadows with strats at the yin yang? I'd say so. They're 3 0 so far. So I see why, no reason why we're not going to see a massive strat book here from Secret Club. Definitely seems to be RBG's uh, one of their favorite maps, like we were talking about before. And I mean, they're definitely putting uh, Secret Club to the distance here. And, I mean, a very close first half. We'll have to see if they can bring that heat into the second. And, I mean, now I'm going to be a little bit curious what they're going to try differently on their CT side. I mean, we were mentioning before they played high coast. They went to, they went to the distance in some degree in early, the earlier, stage, uh, earlier stages of the league. But we'll have to see if they can do that again. I mean, it was uh, tooth and nail that they went on both maps. It definitely was too for now. But for RBG, I think it's important to keep that momentum going nice and early on. What we've seen from their prep record so far is, is getting that first map. You've just got to get that first map and carry that momentum forward with you. And you talk of CSGO being that momentum game across all of the FPSs out there. My goodness, is it momentum? It, it has to be some inkling of momentum in there. Uh, as RBG, they need to get that gas in the tank, put it into fifth, and just keep cruising down the highway for the rest of this best of three secret club yeah they've they've got some talent in their roster and I, i'm concerned if rbg they were to, to slip up a little bit early in uh, this best of three secret that they'd, uh, they'll be sweeping in for, for taking that enough of the map just gone though if this map is to end oh sorry when it does end we're gonna go in towards inferno for our second matchup if you're an Inferno fan, that is to come for Season 36 of ESA Premier. And myself, Cup of Frag, joining Laz on the stream tonight. And uh, thank you so much for, for having me, ESA. Absolute pleasure. And the talent that we've got here today, it is still so early in the season. So plenty more games to see. If you're just checking out, man, I've been missing this. What? Why have I been missing this? Play more action to come. And uh, talking of that, the action is right here, right now, for the second half of this best of three, Matt number one. So getting things started off now, the match has finally gone live. Players are ready. Water is filled. Everything they need. So RBG going to be switching things off. CT side. Secret Club now on the T side. One smoke with a flash in the hands of Frost to see what he can find. And I'm curious what Secret Club's plan is going to be. They have a 4-1 split in RBG right now. They're actually putting three members towards Connector. So getting this early on Connector control. They want to see what they can find in Walco. Already finding a little bit of somebody, the lone wolf here from Secret. It's looking like they're going for a fake, lads, if I'm not mistaken. They've got all those players just lurking outside. B. They've got the lurk going on A, trying to get the fake call. And it's worked! They've got sight for free! They completely pushed into this, and look at They're going to try to look for this big frag. They need to, and Jitter, he's going to be able to take down Wolfie. Three on four situation now. The last keys are remaining. Going to be by themselves. Classia actually able to get the head of Hexton. Now he's just down to the red. Two players here. They're falling apart like a thing of oh. a deck of cards. And all of a sudden now, Walco, he's been able to pull through some nasty pistol rounds. But can he do it? No, because Jitter, he's going to come right back behind, making it to an even game, 8-8. Eight to eight. And Secret Club, that pistol round was absolutely pitcher perfect. Jitter like the James Bond, the 007 with that USP taking out that last frag and yeah so from what we saw there quick breakdown the fake over at long combined they meant decoys secret club used decoys in csgo who does that in the current status it worked for their play it sold the fake and they're gonna get it done in the first round what a way to start things Now, this is where we see Secret Club. They're just going to be a little bit more slow. Just throwing the utility they need to to just push back any close CTs. But RBG not going to be actually doing anything that too adventurous. They want to just push things back. They don't want to play that aggressive, especially on the eco purchase. They all went for deagles. And we've seen RBG with some deagles. They can definitely do some nasty things. But if it's a time to do it, it's definitely going to be now. Secret Club has put a lot of investment into this round. 
They definitely have. If RPG can snag even a couple of players of Secret Club, this would be a massive economic win for them. Three Glills and an AK and a MAC-10 in round number two of, of your half. Yeah, that's uh, that tells me Secret Club, they are all in, baby, for this. But the Deagles, the sharp shooters of RBG, got to be poised and ready. Wolfie, he's ready to execute over on the, the B site here, or the A site, I should say. And this is kind of the read. I mean, RBG, they were trying to go for that stack. You might as well try something a little bit different, but they're not able to get the right read. So instead, Secret Club, they get the free vacancy. They pick up the site with no problems at all. But now they have players that are going to just go for this long rotate around. They might just try to keep these pistols. They might just try to set themselves up for those exits. Nobody is close on by, so they've just completely retreated this plan at all. And Secret Club now have made it their ninth round. This is a guarantee round for them. And even now the hunt coming in from Wolfie. Look at this. The lone wolf indeed. He's looking. He's hunting. He's hungry. Hungry indeed. Four deagles looking to upgrade. Looking to get themselves in that gun game up to that next level. Not sure if it's going to happen though. If anything, Wolfie, he's, he's hunting with this Galil. And he wants to find a frag. Looking like they're going to save that armor. Save the kit. And save those delightful deagles for another round. But looking at money... It's going to be that double save for RPG. Yeah, this round, I mean, they're able to do another reattempt at the uh, the Deagle stacks. They might try to stack a site again. They might try to do something a little bit more aggressive. They do have some smokes as well as one nade and two flashes. So I'm curious where they want to go with this. And it already looks like they're just actually going to be stacking once more at B. So it's a five-player stack that's going to be at the site. So they've completely given up A. We'll have to see if Secret Club are going to bite on this at all. Yeah, Secret Club are doing a really good job at clearing the map before they execute on absolutely anything. You're seeing it right now, even from just over the over the wall here from Chop. Covering what they can, making sure no one's sneaking for that flank. But little do they know, RPG, they stacked once again. This double wrist, and here comes the fake U2 as well. So... Secret Club doing really well on their fakes here and selling them to the absolute nines, lads. Impressive. A lot of slow and, and really structured play that we're seeing from the T side of Secret Club. I mean, they're being very careful. A lot of caution. And now RBG going to reposition themselves. So they have two players who are now going to be close on by. Wolko, can he find it? He's able to do some damage. Oh, it's going to so be, much damage. but it's not going to be enough. So now Wolfie by himself, he's going to be in the site. This is about survival. He just needs to bait time as long as possible for his teammates to get on through. But he's able to find the one. He's able to find the two, and all of a sudden it just falls apart here for Seeker Club. The bomb is down. They still have 26 seconds, but now they're going to have to find these bodies quickly. They're able to get this bomb down now, no problems. The threat has been removed. Now Wizen Hex close on by, but the bomb. The bomb is planted in a very strong position for them on the opposite side of the truck. So both players from Secret Club, they can use this to their advantage. Yeah, the, that bomb sitting tight between Optimus and Garbage. That's going to be a real tough time. Real tough time for the CTs, for RPG to get themselves back in this round. HP not looking so friendly. Well, they got the weaponry though. Oh They're no! Come through! Hexed! Oh, Hexed! You dirty man. I mean, he's ace able to get that smoke through. He had a kit, so we mentioned that. Diffuser. My goodness, he's able to get it through just barely. The flash was perfect from his teammate. His teammate was able to throw the high flash, so they were completely blind. I believe that was Frost that was close on by, so he wasn't able to find anything at all. You can see he was trying to spam, but RBG, they steal that round away from Seeker Club. I'm not sure if that was a, a body fake as well, just uh, being the meat shield. Just protecting Hex while he went for that diffuser. The smoke perfectly placed. Precision is key. And 9-9, RPG, they're back in for the victory here. The double deco save, it, it worked perfectly. Even got an up on the, on the server as well now. So from two deagles, or two rounds of deagles, to having that up and be in that position to really get themselves locked in for the win here. One minute, and still, Secret Club, you talked about that slow, methodical play. They've got to be a bit nervous now after that round. Yeah, the full hesitation from Secret Club. I mean, they they must definitely be shaking their heads. 
the frustration building up a little bit a round that looked like it was completely yours it was definitely chaotic i mean rbg they were able to find those frags with the deagles early on and really just pushing secret club secret club back but now wiz just doing wizard things because he's going to be able to get this bomb down early on Walco going to be close on by. He might be able to get this trade. His teammate, if they can get the flash through, he might be able to find this timing. Yes, Jenner. He's going to fall. Walco, he's just able to run on through Secret Club. Just completely demolish these, these players. And there's only two players remaining, both Vic and Classia. A two-on-five situation, Secret Club. And Walco, he's just been able to pick up a triple kill now. What a performance here from RPG. Going to be big, big things here from Vic. Big things will happen. Two AK frags for him. He's got three left in his one versus five ace. Has he got what it takes to get that done? It would say so. He's in Premier. He's built different, just like all the players in this server. But unfortunately, four seconds, he's all but cut for this one. RBG, they're going to get themselves in the lead. RBG been able to scrape some rounds, being very scrappy. And I mean, that's just some big plays. I mean, Walco, he used the sound cube. To his advantage, I mean, you could hear that the, I mean, I can't remember who that was, but I mean, the one player that did have the bomb, I mean, he was just able to hear the nade get thrown, so he knew he had like a second or two that he could go for the swing and potentially win that duel, and it definitely works out. They get the bomb down again, and then Secret Club, they just weren't able to find the response they wanted. Walco, now gonna try to push a little bit in middle, getting some intel. And now Secret Club, they have one AK that's still saved from Vic from the previous round. Not a lot of utility. They have one smoke cupper. They have one smoke to use for an execute. That is, that's not a prime uh, execute, is it? That's not a prime execute at all. It's from actually the opposite. They've got that gladiator by the one player with that rifle, if you're not familiar with that term. And they've got a play off Vic. They really have to play off Vic here or Vic to bait the entry from the Deagle. So risky. And oh, this, this is looking like a tough round. Oh no! Oh no! It's not gonna work out at all! Hex on the 3k! We talked about Hex doing some big things, being a lot of damage, a player to watch, and that's kinda why. I mean he's just like, hey guys, I'm here, I'm Hex. I'm uh I like to I like to frag and now we're seeing RBG with a big lead. Eleven to nine. Money finally on the board here for Secret Club. This could really turn things around. I mean, if RBG are able to pick up this round, this could really push Secret Club into a Bit of a spiral. I mean, right now they do have the three loss bonus, but they're gonna full have the full investment. Wolfie gonna have the op in his hands. Vic just gonna keep the deagle with a little bit of utility to spare. And you can see they have the armor, but they got light utility. They only have a few smokes and only, I believe, one Molotov that was available. Yeah, this this is really not looking healthy at all. This is looking like a crop that needs some water. Secret club looking like they're heading to a drought if they're not careful. This round so important for their economy build up and rebuild if you will walco though this angle this this could be really special we've not seen him play up close and personal in bathrooms from this angle before and <gasps> the smoke just covering his cross save place but we can see where they are but does he have the info he's not he's not gonna get it yeah classy was able to use that frost actually with the flash assist that was very good timing so he's able to get that frag and he was by himself but now chop and have to see if he can chop some grass here and long A in the upper park. And Classy, he's making so much noise. An elephant. And he's going to get Stop punished him. for all that noise. Yeah, you're hoping and uh, you're praying for Chop there. Come on, bud. You're hearing the footsteps. Surely this is going to be a frag. It's taking out a big player for that matter as well. Classy, we're talking about high safety on player. Removed, deleted from the server. Another one coming in from Hexed as well. Things are crumbling here. So many frags happening fast here. It's three versus two. Now making it all just down to Jitter by himself. 27 seconds remaining. Able to get past Optimus. But it will not matter because Wolfie is going to be able to take the head of him. So now 12 to 9. RBG keeping this lead going round by round. It was 8 to 7 for the first half. Now 4 to 2. Seeker Club. I mean, we're going to have to see those secrets come out. We need to see something a little bit different from you right now because things are looking a little bit dire. You certainly are. When you see a Tech 9, a CZ, and a Deagle in 2021 in CSGO, you've got an inkling that uh, there might be trouble upstream. Secret Club going for that 2k save, saving what they can. And in again, it's going to be Walco. Quick entry, taking that head. And oh my goodness, it's going to be something for something different. Wolfie, it's a triple. 
Just frags after frags. Everybody's just turning things up now. Classia by himself. CZ. 24 bullets combined. Needs to pick up a rifle if he can. Able to. Full clip. Now rewarded with an AWP, but no. Tries to throw it away, but I don't know if he realized it didn't go over, but instead he doesn't care. Trying to use it to his advantage. He might be able to find another frag, but just barely missing it. And Walco able to retrieve that off now. No harm, no foul. RPG 13 to 9. The big buy round from Secret Club. They're on the full loss bonus. But my god, Cup, we need to see something different. We haven't seen Secret Club go very aggressive. Is that the play? Do they want to push something a little bit more aggro now and try to test the firepower of RBG? When we saw them excel in that first half, it was. It was quick entries. It was fast and furious plays. We've seen nothing of the song here from Secret Club. We've seen delays. We've seen pushes through. That was the best we've seen. But it's not going to do going through an incendiary. Two frags coming in from the Ulk here from Hex. He doesn't care what weapon he has. He's treated like gun game. Disrespect. And all of a sudden now, RBG looking like an entirely new team. Five on three situation. They're definitely bringing the fight to Secret Club now. Now Wolfie and his teammate are going to be creeping on through. They have the bomb going towards B. Close on by going to be Wolfie just holding the tight angle. They might not expect him to be here. He might be able to win this first exchange. He will. He's down to 17. Takes the critical damage. Doesn't matter. He's able to get at least the one frag he needs. The bomb is down now. Frost on a one-on-four situation. Lots of time left on the clock. But needs to act very fast. This flanker to his left, lads. I don't think he's aware. I don't think he's aware. And that's going to be all. Or maybe. Maybe he's going to shuffle. He's going to hit the shuffle. He's going to get two. So he's in that one versus three. 35 seconds. This is this is looking pretty pretty abysmal for any clutch attempt. But any more frags would be nice. Bolster his KDR. Bolster that economy. Maybe take a weapon out the run in here. Preferably an up. He's wondering. He's hoping. But... I don't think he's going to get so lucky. And at this point, I mean, there's only 13 seconds left. So, I mean, at this point, do you even bother to go for it? You have no control at all. So, instead, we'll fall back. Going to save the rifle into this next round. RBG are going to be able to put themselves two rounds away from taking map number one. And like we talked about, this was RBG's map pick. But, I mean, we saw last, uh, you know, the last time we were here, I mean, map picks were not really going in the favor for uh, RBG. No, they're, they're most certainly... I'm, I'm actually flabbergasted from the performance in the second half from RBG. The ability to take two Deagle saves like that and convert that into economic flow is absolute gold dust and worth its weight in gold in the world of CSGO. 49, no mistake, RBG are where they are right now. Statistically, yes, slightly the underdogs, but Secret Club, they've really got to step up to the plate right now on map number one if they want to say in the map of Overpass. They've got that Gladiator by once again, one AK, and their dreams are, are held within that. We can see Walko. He's just looking at the wall, so he's getting ready for any paw flashes. His teammate might be able to throw the long flash for him. There's no reason for him to go for this aggression, but, I mean, why not? He's feeling hungry. Why not? He's going to be able to find the one. Able to find the two. No. Jitter. Going to be able to win that duel. So, gets rewarded with the M4 now. Two rifles going to be in the hands here for Secret Club. Wiz giving up his position, but oh, goes for the wide peak. A little bit of wrong timing. Wrong place at the wrong time. Definitely indeed here for RBG. They fall down to only three players remaining. A little bit of utility is still available here. Classia does have a smoke as well, does, as well as he does have the AWP. But Chop, he's able to take down one, but he's taken down to 14. Yeah, that, that could be a costly blunder, couldn't it? Secret Club, they've got the HP advantage. They've got the two rifles in play as well now. Including an up Vic, though. What's he got in his, in his repertoire? He's got a Juan D. He takes one, puts it to that three versus two. RPG looking all but ready for a safe at this point, surely. This is now a little bit of reply back to a two and two, and it's just going to be all down to Frost on one on one situation. Chop's going to be down to 14. Frost still has full armor, full health. Going to be able to get this bomb down close, but Chop, he's creeping on through. He needs to win this duel, and he's going to be able to. Doesn't matter what HP he has. He's still going to pull things through, and now RBG putting themselves at match point here for map number one.
over and over uh, over again on the world of overpass the map has been dominated by rbg comeback city they've come against the odds every single time lads how many clutches i've lost count of how many like one versus x they've had and they are nailing it getting it done in map number one what an excellent way to potentially take your map pick this would be 59 match point here for rbg secret club they've got everything to do now and we are gonna see the double op by in the server not too often we've uh, seen that in this map and that duel will go in favor here for Seeker Club. They're going to be able to win that. But Walco, we saw him do some great work here before. Can he do it again? No, it's going to be Jitter. He's just getting the best of Walco now. So, a two on five situation. Seeker Club, they finally have the player advantage. We haven't seen that before in this second half. They always seem to be scraping through. And now, the question will be, what do they want to go for? And look at this. They're completely holding the ground. They are not moving. They're just waiting things out. You shall not pass. You yelling that from the top of their lungs, they will be one minute just over. And RBG know that this first map lies on this round four. They want to take it with that full steam ahead. Secret Club, though, they've got every reason to take this and keep map number one up and running. Lots of U2 available for Secret Club. In come the smokes. In come the flashes. It's going down. Just leaving it only to two. Hexy sprays on through, but now it's going to be Wolfie. He needs to come alive. He needs to find some players, but no. Secret Club, they're going to be able to scrape on through another round, 15 to 10. It's definitely doable. There's no doubt about it, but I mean money right now from RBG. They have plenty of funds. They can go for another big buy round. Secret Club, they're going to have to make some miracles here. They really are going to have to work with, with Magic Hit. Hopefully someone's got uh, some kind of magic spell in their strap book. It's what it's going to take to beat a team like RBG. They've been clutching themselves out of a cardboard box this game. And it's super frustrating to play against. What is also super frustrating is a stack like this. Anything you can do, I can do better. Secret Club trying to take a page out of RBG's strap book. But is it going to be the, the round for it? Oh, and he's spotting, and he actually oh, gets it. So Secret Club, again. they're going to be able to reply back. So RBG does it once. You know what? Secret Club can do it even as well. They now are one-on-one -on -one for the quad stack. Man, that's got to be tilting, especially when you're just trying to get that information chop. You know, he's just like, yeah, I'm going to hang out and just look and see. And bam, you're gone. Bam, you're gone. You don't even see it. You know where you've been fragged from, but you don't even see it happen. Five versus four. We did see a bit of trouble in that first half there, RBG in that un outmanned advantage or disadvantage i should say able to even things out though back to the four and four wolfie got the intel cons clear does he know about monster though hex was holding a tight angle but instead actually going to fall back through a little bit of utility so that's going to land right on front of short has the flashbang this might be able to just delay it a little bit you can see look at that that lands perfectly they completely react to it and Hex, he finds the head of Vic. So now looking for a little bit more. Og in hand, holding things back in the back of the water. Three remaining players here for Secret Club. We were talking about that they need to start swinging. They need to start finding something. And now this is the big test once again. Utility is just burning it. But it will be the bomb down. So they got that for him. But that's not going to matter because RBG, they run on through. And they take map number one. Hexed, finishing things out how we started the map, really, with a 3k sealing the deal 16 10 for map one of this best of three. Oh boy, things look good. If you're sitting in the side of RPG, of course, underdogs, they've uh, been through five maps so far, and uh, or five games so far this season, five sets of best of three, and for that sixth one, starting things off on a fantastic note against a formidable team of Secret Club. What's to come next? Well, it's going to be Inferno. That will be just around the corner for you. So give us a few minutes, get yourselves a drink, get yourselves ready. Inferno up next in this best of three.